Hey guys, Holiday Master here. Tonight I got a video for you of this air balloon inflatable um, head turning teddy. This was sold at Walmart this year uh, for 150 bucks. Um, and so what sucked about this was, you know, I only saw pictures like this and my store didn't have it on display. So I didn't really get to see it in person, which kind of sucked because I do like the concept of it, but I wish it wasn't the, I, I wish it didn't have the fuzzy fabric. It's the only thing I wish it didn't have. But anyway, uh, if you guys remember my buddy Cody, I did a Halloween display video for him. Uh, probably this weekend, hopefully this weekend, I should say, I will be back at his house doing a Christmas uh video night and day we're going to change it up a little bit um because he's got a pretty big christmas setup as well so uh yeah so the reason i'm showing you this today because i know i said no more halloween but here we are <laughs> um some a-hole about the end of october drove through his display not once but twice and absolutely destroyed a handful of inflatables thankfully no animatronics were hit it was just a few inflatables still a lot of damage um <clears throat> and this one was the worst um so he ordered a spare fan on yard inflatables because this fan was completely smashed um there's no lights left like all the light caps were busted off fan was split in two i got the fan running but it sounds awful so he went ahead and bought a spare one on yard inflatables i went ahead and fixed it for free you know i i it was just me i offered to do it um so yeah and before i do any more reviewing of this item i will i want to point out if anyone's interested and what it looked like before I fix it let me know in the comments down below and I can put pictures up on my profile uh, on YouTube I haven't done that in a while so if anyone's interested in what that sucker looked like let me know and I'll post pictures I got a ton because I'm gonna do a little slideshow for uh, social medias but uh, yeah so here's the box and um, it's just your plain excuse me your plain um walmart box six foot tall soft and fuzzy plush fabric that shows you there the head turning from the nice to the mean <clears throat> and that's pretty much all the box is and you know your size comparison and oh this one doesn't have it because it's i forgot the walmart ones don't have it i'm used to the jemmy boxes having the year and everything right there and then the other side has the mean face up front. So there's the box. And again, it is a newer item this year new. <laughs> uh, but here it is. And right off the bat, you can see some stitching. When the guy hit it, somehow he was able to rip the thing completely in half. I mean, it right down the middle, just ripped it in half. Now note, this was a car. Um, and then can actually see some grass stains where it was drug um and here's another place it ripped here and there was the worst of it um thankfully the fan was an easy fix there was you know little stuff like that that was ripped and uh really wasn't that bad sewing it just took it actually took me five hours to complete this what i mean by that is sewing adding the new fan wiring the new lights and wiring the rotating motor all together um now of course sewing took the longest but all together was about five hours and there's another big hole here you can see that I, and this was all done by hand could have used the sewing machine but i really didn't want to dig it out so i sat here and did it all by hand and i know i should have used the darker color of thread however this is all I got right now, and because it's on the back, my buddy didn't didn't mind, and I personally didn't mind either. 
and even you'll see even when this rotates around you can't really tell that this was ripped so <clears throat> yeah um it has 125 i think that's what it came with but i mean that's what it's got now and it wants to explode so without further ado we'll go ahead and I know the one thing I thought was bizarre with this item, it only had three lights in it. One in the head and two in the body. So that's what I gave it. There it is. Now again, knock on wood, the nice face didn't get ripped at all, didn't get dirt stains, no nothing. It was the mean face that got really ripped up and has a grass stain and everything. Um, and the other one that got hit was the 13-foot hand from Walmart that he, my buddy had. Uh, well, I can say his name, Cody, that Cody had. And uh, it ripped a few of the fingertips out um, with the stakeholders and left a lot of tire prints on it. So there's a few others that got ripped. I don't know what he ever did with those. But with this bear and that hand, I know it was 400 bucks, I think, alone. The guy did a lot of damage, but I'm just happy I was able to save this one for him. And uh, again, there's all the sewing. There's all the sewing for the back. It inflates wonderfully, and I'm just I'm just very happy with how this turned out. See you guys. That's pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.